If you've been RVing long enough, you're well aware it is extremely difficult to find a campground that'll let you wash your rig in the campground. And the ones that do allow it usually charge an arm and a leg to use the water. However, we may have just found a perfect solution for you. Mm -hmm. Hi, my name's Dan. Hi, I'm Dina, and we are Rivers to Ridges RV. It's been nearly three months since we were last able to wash our rig, and I'm so embarrassed, but as you can see, it is filthy. It needs a good scrubbing. Luckily for us, Aero Cosmetics reached out to us and asked us if we would try their products. And as you can see, they sent us quite a bit of their inventory. Aero Cosmetics, if you haven't heard of, heard of them, was started in 1987 and is the world's first waterless wash. Cool. So like Dina just said, Aero, Aero Cosmetics reached out to us a few weeks back and just honestly just said, do you guys mind trying our product? That's all they asked for. We talked about it a little bit and we thought this might be a great review, a great review video. So that's what we're gonna do today. They sent us all these products. Yeah. I don't even know what to do with half this stuff yet. <laughs> and, and we're just gonna review this as we go. As you can see, nothing has been opened yet. Right. We're gonna learn as we go. And that's mm -hmm. honestly gonna be part of our review. This is a totally different process than yeah. using soap and water. It's, a, it's completely We've different. We've never tried anything like this. Yeah, right. So there's gonna be a little bit of a learning curve yeah. for us. Yep. I'm sure if you did something like this, it would be for you as well. But that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna review it and see how, we, how everything goes. Now, right up front, this is everything that they sent us. My first impression, I haven't opened anything yet, first impression is quality. Yeah. Just everything looks like a quality it product. Does. Even we have, um, this is an extension uh, rod here. Is that aluminum? I don't know what, I think okay. that one is aluminum, okay. yeah. Um, that's an extension rod, it's about four feet long. I think it extends out to nine feet, or just over nine feet. That, from what I read, is used for waterless application. So you you wouldn't want to use any water with that. Now, their, their products are water, waterless or wet, which yeah. means using water, but we're strictly gonna deal with the waterless right. part of it. They also sent us um, a fiberglass um, extension pole here. This one's about six feet long and extends out to over 11 feet. Nice. Now I did extend this one out. It's plenty long enough for what we need. So hopefully we don't need to use a ladder today. And yeah. this one's used for either with water or without water. Okay. Water. So it, that one's actually very, very sturdy. Okay. So that's probably the one we're going to use a lot today. Right. Now some of the products they sent us, this is a, a rubber cleaner. We're gonna use this today as well on one, at least one of our tires yeah. just to see how it works. I might be tired by the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> may take a few days to do all of these. They also sent us some, this is a degreaser. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to use this one yeah, today. Maybe not today, but um, we'll At use some it. point we will, but, and, and if we do, we'll definitely add some comments oh, yeah. and, into the video later on. So I'm just not quite sure if we're gonna use the degreaser today. And then the, the main product is this wash wax, all, all the, the, the blue stuff. Um, so that's what we have. Now they also sent us a bunch of shop towels. These are microfiber, yeah, microfiber tar, yeah. uh, towels. This is a, a kit that goes on the end of one of the, the extension poles for bugs. Yeah. And we're actually gonna start out with this one. Yeah, um, and then you flip it over and it's got the dry mop on it. Yeah. Uh, this is where we're gonna start today. We're probably gonna do a little yeah. test area first. I, I'm gonna go straight and see if it Mom. can't take care of the bugs, then there's no, honestly, there's no reason yeah, to, continue. to continue. So we're gonna hit the hard part first, and then if that works, we'll continue on from right. there. We also have a, a another great big, I'm just gonna call it a, a mop. This goes on one of the extension poles. So the way this works for the RV is they, they tell you to start out with roughly a two foot by four foot section. The reason for that is the way the process is, you're gonna spray down a very small section. You're gonna have a wet um, uh, towel here. Um, it's gonna be folded into a square. The towel will also be sprayed down with some of the solution as well. So you're gonna spray the RV down. You're gonna wipe that section down with this moist towel. Okay. And then you're gonna follow that up with a dry, dry towel. Okay. So that's the whole process for the RV. Spray down a small section, roughly two to four feet, two feet by four feet. Follow that up with a 
a moist towel and immediately follow it up with a dry towel. Right, you don't want the product to dry on its own. Right, we actually contacted uh, support because yeah. we had some questions um, and they said the biggest uh, mistake people make is they use too much product right. or they let it dry uh, the prop dry before they can wipe it down, that right. will leave streaks. So right. if you're getting some streaks, it's because you're letting it dry bef uh, by, on its own before you can wipe it down. So we're going to start out with some smaller sections and then I'm, I'm sure as we go along and we learn a little bit about the yeah. product, um, maybe we can do a little bit bigger sections as well. The other thing they sent us was oh yeah a purse for it's Dina. not a purse <laughs> this is not my kind of purse but a nice bag to put all the products in which is really nice that, that was very very nice yeah. these products they are certified by boeing they're certified by airbus they uh the company advertises that these products are used on air force one yeah. and also marine one right so i'm sure if it's good enough for air force one <laughs> it's good enough for dan and dina's rv huckleberry <laughs> but we're still a little bit nervous so we are yeah. going to do a little small section up front honestly I'm, I'm sure we're fine but we really just want to kind of get the feel of it right. see how it all works yeah because we're going to jump Definitely. right into the end cap and um, start from there so this is everything we have we're going to run up to the front of the rv do a little small section up front, try to get the feel of it, and, and start cleaning the rig. Woo if I just <laughs> opened up the, the cleaning solution, I have two towels. One of them I'm gonna get wet, the other one I'm gonna try to keep dry. I still don't know quite the best way to hang on to these, so that this might be a trial and error um, as we go, but I'm gonna go ahead and wet this one down. I can hold it, hon. Okay, I'm turn that on. Spray. This one's wet. I'm just going to do this little section here. I'll wipe this down with the wet one. And then I'm going to follow it up with the dry one. Okay, so that was my first attempt. There's definitely a difference. Uh, it's definitely cleaner. I still have some. There's still some little rough stuff on here. I'm gonna go ahead and try this one more time. This is my very first time doing this, so I'm sure I don't have the technique down perfect yet. I, they did give us a scrubber. If I had to, I could I could scrub this as that well. That might be bugs or something like that. Yeah, it's very, again, this, we're just trying to test this out yeah. before we do the, the stuff up, up top. So I'm gonna try this one more time and see if I yeah. can make it a little bit better. It does look a heck of a lot cleaner. Again, the wet rag. And we're gonna follow it up with the dry one. Okay. I kind of understand the concept. What we're going to do now is going to get one of the uh, extension poles. We're going to start on our front cap. See if we can get some of these bugs off of here. So that's what we're going to. You're going to be yeah. I'm so already tired. tired. <laughs> I'm already tired. Okay, let's get to the front cap. We're going to try to get see how many of these bugs we can get off of our front cap of the RV. And to me, this is going to be the true test. What we're going to use is they gave us this little scraper in the process for in our particular case is we sprayed some of the wash wax all on the front end cap. We're gonna let it set for five to 10 minutes. After five to 10 minutes, we're gonna spray another set, just a small section, one little section at a time that we can scrub. So we got it set for five to 10 minutes. After that, spray it again. Then we're gonna use this little scrubber on the end of one of our extension rods, scrub that section, flip it over, and use this pad. There's nothing on this pad. And there's nothing on the scrub side either. This is only to break it up and get the majority of the bugs off. 
once that's all done, then we're going to follow it up with our, our big daddy mop. And this has a, this has a wet side and a dry side. The wet side, we're going to use water. They said don't use the solution for this final step. We're going to put water on this and just get it damp. So once this section or once this process is done, we're going to use the wet sec, wet side of this, hit it again. This should get all the bugs off and then follow it up with a dry, dry section right after that. Well, we finished our front cap, and it was it was kind of a chore. It was it was a lot of work, I thought. A lot of work. But man, this uh, we we do love to how this thing feels. Kind of, what does it feel like, Dina? A baby's butt. Feels like a baby's <laughs> behind. It does. <laughs> it does feel pretty good. We already noticed some things that we would probably do differently the next time. We did use the big mop on the front cap. Yeah. I personally think it's a little bit too big for some of the cran nooks and right. crannies on the side. The curves, the, the, the grooves and, and stuff. On the edges it wouldn't over get here. in there really good. Right. So we did have to hit it a couple times, but that was probably the main reason why. Yeah, yeah. We and just, we did have a lot of bugs on oh, it. Oh, definitely. Yeah. So, but again, we're trying to use all the different products and we did want to try to use the mop right. on here. If I was to go back and do this again, I'd probably use a smaller mop up or at least get whatever I can with the hand rags. Um, oh, do yeah. as much as I can yeah. with the hand rags and then do the rest the with the microfiber mop. cloths. Yeah. 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 But overall this is the first thing we did. Yep. Very impressed. I yes. mean the, the finish, it's it's yeah. shine, it, it feels really good. So now that we finish this, we're gonna jump over to our, the side that's in the shade. Yep. And start down that side. I think it's gonna be a little bit easier to go a the, little faster. The, we're going actually gonna skip the scrubbing step on this because we don't have the bugs we on the side. We don't have the bugs on the side. So let's jump to the side and we'll get going on that. Here we go. Now that we finish the front cap, we're gonna start down the left hand side or the driver's side of the RV. The only reason why we chose this side is because it's in the shade and it's pretty warm out today but it should go a little bit quicker because we're actually going to skip the whole bug scrubbing step the way this works is we are going to wet the damp side or the wet side of the mop with our wash wax all formula and then we are also going to spray roughly a two foot by four foot section of the rv once we do that we will take the wet side of the mop uh, mop what we just soaked down on the RV, flip this over to the dry side, and then dry it off. So this should be a little bit quicker. Again, it's just going to be spray the RV, wipe it down with the wet side of the mop, and then flip it over and dry it off with the dry side of the mop. So let's get started on this side of the RV. We just finished about half of this side of the RV and we really need to change out some of our mops, our mop heads. I kind of wanted to show you how to do that. These are just Velcroed on and they're real easy to replace. Again, remember if there's a wet side and a dry side, if you do happen to forget, they do have a, they're marked. This is wet, this is dry. So you can always remember which one's which, but this is very simple. These are just Velcroed on. We're going to get two new pads and put them back on. Very simple lay in place, fold them over, make sure the Velcro is down tight, and we're good to go. So now that we have the new pads on, we can finish the rest of this side of the RV. We'll probably go ahead and switch these out one more time. When we start on the other side, halfway down with the other side, we'll probably switch them out for the last time. So we're ready to go again. We just finished one side, now we're getting ready to come over to the other side. A few things we've learned already. Um, when you're using this mop, there's a wet side and a dry side. About halfway through, we ended up switching uh, mop heads again. The wet one gets you know, a lot of dirt built up into it, and then the dry one gets moisture in it from drying all the moisture. So about halfway through the other side, we swapped again. So we're gonna end up using 
Uh, we use, end up using four on that side, we end up using four on this side as well. We are happy with the product. We're not done yet. We're not gonna give our final review until we finish this other side. We're trying to get this other side done before, before it gets too dark. This is actually the, the dirtier side of the two as well. We're still having a little bit of problems with some streaking, and I really do think it's just our fault. We're still not, don't quite have the hang of it yet. We, uh, the side of the RV is actually pretty hot. We finally got the bright idea to put the awnings out to hopefully get some of it in the shade and cool it down a little bit. So hopefully that helps us out a little bit. We're still gonna try to go to smaller sections at a time and dry it off before the product dries itself off. Overall though, I mean, to touch this, it feels like we just wax this whole RV. It feels really, really good. We got just another, about half more to go on this side. Then we're gonna come back to the table and then talk about what we found out. I'm tired. We're pooped. I am literally beat right now. But I kind of wanted to go back over some of the processes we did. And let's go ahead and start with the, the front end cap, how we did, got rid of the bugs. We used this little, basically a bug scraper. And the process was we hosed down or, or squirted down the front end cap with the wash wax all, let that set for five to 10 minutes. And then we hit it little, uh, that sprayed a small section at a time, hit it with the scrubby side of this to, to break up as much of the bugs and dirt as possible. We flipped this over. There's no product on this. This was just dry. And then we did hit that same little area with this side. And again, that we were just trying to pick up as much as possible. Mm -hmm. Once that was done, we came back with the big mop. Now, the big mop has water on one side and it was, you know, rinsed and um, moist to the point of being moist. It was wrung out to the point of being moist. So we then hit it with the wet part, again with just water, flipped it over and dried it off. The, the problem that I saw with the front end cap was some of this stuff was too big for all the little nooks and crannies. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it, it, Probably some of that is, you know, we're trying to use this stuff. We want to see yeah, how it works. Yeah, this is not movable. These, you know, give it a little bit more um, coverage, um, but this is not movable. It's hard. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. So, again, it's just a learning curve for us, yeah. right? If I was to do that end cap again, maybe I'd go back and just use this side after I got all the bugs off. And, and did this side, because I'm getting into some smaller areas right. with this. Unless there's a trick with this that we just don't know about yet. Overall though, the front end cap, I thought it came out really, really nice. The one thing that did impress me, is like we said in the very beginning of the video, this is quality yeah, stuff. Yeah, it is. All these products is, is yeah. high quality. It's good very finally well to, to work with something that's not gonna fall apart in your right, hands, right? right. This, I, I have nothing bad to say at all yeah. about the quality of these products. Yeah, this worked really great. Nice. Um, I think everything worked the way it was supposed to. If there was anything that didn't come out right, I'd probably blame it on us. Yeah. Um, so you're gonna do some pros and cons? Yes, pros okay. and cons. Pros first? Pros first. Pros. Um, do you have one? Um, I love the shine, yes. the sheen and how it feels is just beautiful. Yeah. It's really, really nice. The product, again, I, I, from what we've just done, I think this is a high quality yeah. product. This, this feels so smooth. It's, it's like we, you know, we, and I think if you think about it, we're so tired, but we washed and we waxed and we dried. Basically. Right? Yeah. And you can feel it. The side yeah. of the RV is smooth and it is shining. So we, we like the, uh, the outcome of the product. Right. Um, another pr a pro for me would be the quality. Again, yeah. I know we already oh, talked yeah. about the quality, Definitely. but I have nothing bad to say about the quality no. of the products. No. So one of my biggest cons was probably maybe getting back to the size of, of, of the yeah. mop. On, on an RV, especially like around the awnings and the edges, there's some really tight 
corners, right? Yeah. Where you get maybe six inches, so you have to get in a six inch gap. You really, really can't do it with this. Now, I guess we could try to go in sideways. No, or, you can't. I just, or, I tried it and okay. it didn't work. Or maybe use the smaller one. Right. But I, I wouldn't want to be switching back and forth all the time either. Right. So I think the biggest con for me was we weren't quite able to get some of the spots we could yeah. normally get with the uh, with, with soap our regular, and water. Yeah. yeah. So that's yeah. probably the biggest con. Well, uh, soap and water and using our other brushes yeah, that we have. Yeah. yeah our, so we, our we, we soft weren't brush. able to get all the little nooks and crannies, right, I, I right. don't think. So a couple of things that we learned as well. We learned this right off the bat. The little spray bottle that you use for um, spraying the RV down with. I was spraying, I would lay it on the ground, I would do the, the, the pole and back and forth. The you would lay the bottle on the, the bottle ground. The bottle on the ground, yeah. So if I was to do this again, I would definitely have like a, a belt on or something I could hang yeah. the bottle from my waist. Yeah. So I'm not always up, up and down with that. Um, that would have sped things up a little bit and, and helped yeah. out a little bit as well. Would have been a more convenient, mm -hmm. but yeah. The other thing for me, I would probably not try to do this at one shot, I don't think. Yeah, I think we I, learned that. Yeah, I think, like, especially the sunny side, I would probably have done maybe just on day one, do the, sh the shady side, and the next day either do this in the morning before the sun gets too hot, or, or in the, the evening, evening right now when, yeah. the, when the sun's Like it's not nice up. now. Yeah, so, and I wouldn't be so tired. Yeah. So I, we didn't even have time to do the tires yet. We're going to no. honestly we're gonna have to do those tomorrow um, to show you the, the tire product. But we're, we're just too tired right now. Yeah. So we are beat. We are going in. We wanted to finish this video up today, but it's just not going to happen. We want to do the tires and show you how the, uh, the tires come out. Yeah. So we're going to have to do that tomorrow right. and finish the video up tomorrow. Yeah, we were a little too tired yesterday to uh, wash and condition our tires. So this is actually the next day and we're going to go ahead and get this done today and actually show you a couple of the products. This is going to be a two-step process and the very first thing we're going to do is to wash with wash all. We're going to wash and scrub it. Next thing we're going to do is spray the tire with this rubber care. And it's really, it's a conditioner is what it is. We're going to spray this down, let it set for 10 minutes. Then we're going to come back with a damp cloth, wipe it down. Once that's done, we're going to hit it with a dry cloth and, and dry it all out. And the reason why you do the dry cloth is if it was wet, there's just any dust and particles in the air, it's going to stick to the tire. So we do want to make sure we dry everything off. We're going to dry this off. Okay, now that's, that is dry, we are going to spray this with our rubber care. And now we're just going to let it soak All for right, 10 minutes. We waited 10 minutes. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to take a damp rag. We're going to wipe this down. Then we'll take a dry rag and, and dry it off. And I'll try to stay out of the dirt. And then we'll dry it off. And that's it. Looks pretty good. It's a you know we cleaned it, we conditioned the rubber, and actually the rubber looks pretty good as well. Well, it's another day. Another beautiful day. It <laughs> is a beautiful day, that's for sure. It's been five days since we washed our RV, and we wanted to give it time to I guess weather, so to speak, before we gave our final approval. Well, that's what Dina says, but we really <laughs> want to let our muscles have a chance to relax first. <laughs> we definitely got our workout. You guys, I would definitely go back to this in a heartbeat. Yeah. I love this product. I think that makes two of us. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. It beats having a dirty, filthy rig. 
when you can't wash or anything in, your, in the campgrounds, I will definitely use this. Yeah, like like Dana said, it's been five days since we washed this, and it's rain. I think it's three rain, of those three, days, and we've and had wind incredible wind <laughs> sandstorms. I don't. I'm sure you can't tell in the video, but this. Yeah. I mean, it it feels great. It looks great still. There's a couple things I did want to mention. We did say earlier in the video that we had yeah. a hard time getting into some of the nooks and crannies. Oh, right. And to be honest with you, it's because we were so concentrated on using the mop, we could have used the microfiber cloths yeah. and get into those nooks and crannies. So that honestly is not an issue. Right. We did not have to use a ladder. For the, and that was one of the things we want. We wanted to try to wash the RV right. without using a ladder. I'm so and, glad you yeah. didn't have to use a ladder, honey. <laughs> and, and so that, that worked out uh, pretty well. It's good. And the tire product did very well yeah, too. Yeah, we're happy with the tires too. Tires they, look they, like they're they new. Look great. Yeah. You can buy these products. I, I know on Amazon, Amazon. I'm sure there's other places as well. But they do sell either kits or individual um, cleaners yeah. by themselves. So. You never have to worry about replacing anything, though. If you buy the kit, you only have to replace the formula. Yeah, because it, it is top quality stuff. And another, definitely quality, high-end yeah. stuff. And another, um, something else to think about would be if you don't, if you can't quite make that kit purchase or you're not sure about it, just buy the formula. Yeah, buy the wash and wax all and some microfiber rags. Yeah. And, and well, they might it. have. You might already have that. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Just use what you already have at home and buy the product. The, the formula itself and see what you think and let us know whether you buy the kit curious, or whatever yeah. yeah let us know please comment and let us know what you think we would like to say thank you to Aero Cosmetics for reaching out to us to try the product we really appreciate it and we love it we I, will definitely be using yeah, it again I think uh, two thumbs up from us yes huh? two thumbs up we hope you enjoyed this week's video please have a wonderful week we'll see you next week remember Always live life to the fullest. Safe travels and God bless.